السلام عليكم لا تنسوا الاعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد ان شاء الله Okay, listen carefully. This video covers the basics of timing belt insulation in a Ford Ranger and Mazda with a 2.3 liter or 2.5 liter single overhead camshaft engine. Note, the images in the video are merely an approximation of the audio, text, and image. Here's the important sequence. Crankshaft alignment. Match the point on the crankshaft pulley to the engine block bore. If you get this wrong, nothing else matters. Oil pump alignment. Match the rectangle on the oil pump pulley to the rectangle on the engine block. Don't mix them up, especially when craning your neck. Camshaft alignment. Initially, position the triangle on the camshaft sprocket slightly behind the triangle on the head, about half a tooth. This compensates for belt slack. Belt installation. Get the belt started on the crankshaft, then the oil pump. Use a screwdriver wedge near the crank to prevent slippage. Tensioning. With the belt on all pulleys, including the tensioner, apply tension to belt by gently rotating the camshaft sprocket counterclockwise with a 19 millimeters wrench. The goal is to move the slack to the tensioner side. Tensioner adjustment. Loosen the tensioner lock bolt 13 millimeters to allow the spring to apply pressure. Slightly rotate the camshaft counterclockwise again to take up any remaining slack on the non-tensioner side. Tighten the tensioner bolt. Final checks. After tightening, manually rotate the crankshaft a few times and recheck all timing marks, crank, oil pump, and cam. The cam mark might be off by a hair, which is acceptable due to belt tolerances. Reassembly. Reinstall the timing cover and balancer. You can use the timing marks on the balancer and cover, TDC, along with the cylinder head plugs to double check the oil pump and camshaft alignment as a final verification. Tools you'll need are a 19mm socket slash wrench, camshaft, 17mm wrench, tensioner spring, 13mm socket slash wrench, tensioner lock, and a Phillips head screwdriver, belt retention. Don't skip any steps, and make sure those alignment marks are spot on. That's how you get it done right.